Welcome back to the class on a electrical vehicles and hybrid electrical vehicles. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the communication and subsystems in a hybrid electrical vehicles. Already we know that communication is nothing but a, the passing of information from one place to the another place. Suppose we are driving the vehicle. When we are driving the vehicle, sometimes we are accelerating, sometimes we are applying the braking. Sometimes we are owning the audio in the vehicle. Sometimes we are applying the air condition. Sometimes we are decreasing the air condition. All these things to simply we are applying some sort of signal to the system. But automatically it will be happening in the electrical vehicle or hybrid electrical vehicle. How it is going to happen means by passing information from the one place to the other place or one subsystem to another subsystem. So the Whatever the thing is required for the driver, that will be happening in an electrical vehicle. Now we are going to see that what are the different types of communication systems are available in an electrical vehicle. Generally, there are four types of communication will be occurs in an electrical vehicle. First one is class A communication. Class A communication is nothing but a, that communication does not require say, that much of speed. Suppose if you want to on the power seat or power window or power mirror. Suppose if you want to clean the mirrors. All these things after giving the command even though some delay is occurred it does not going to happen anything. So such a, such a type of components we are keeping under the class A communication. Class B communication. Class B communication nothing but the communication will be occurs in moderate speed. Dashboard display, cabin climate. Suppose if you want to increase the cooling in a vehicle then we, we don't want instantaneously as well as we don't want very slowly but moderate speed we require such a type of components we are keeping under the class b communication class c communication is nothing but a what are the things are related to the engine when we give the acceleration fastly whenever we are applying the acceleration the machine should be run very fastly at the same instant by the time we are passing that signal through the class C communication. It's a power train, engine, hybrid components. Suppose if you apply the braking. Now if you apply the braking after some time the brakes should be applied to the vehicle means the accident will be occur. Such a type of things. Nothing but a battery, power train, vehicle dynamics. All the things should be occur instantaneously. Those things we are keeping in a class C communication. Class D means very fast. Generally, we are not going to use the class D communication up to here only we are, we are using the. It is also coming up with the very fast communication. So in this manner, how much speed we are transferring the data from driver to the different components in a vehicle to done the some activity or to occur some action to do some work. Those we are classified as class A, class B, class. Just now we have seen class A come Communication is nothing but a, the data will be transferred only less than the 10 kbps. Class B communication is nothing but a, 10 to 125 kbps. Class C communication is nothing but a, 125 to 1 mbps. The data speed this one. Class D is nothing but a, more than the 1 mbps. So how we are going to get those speed by means of cable means CAN basic this one, CAN low, this is CAN high speed. Flex ray or most. These are the different cables or compounds we are using in a vehicle so that the communication will be medium, low, and fast and very high speed. Next one is the control area network. Control area network mm -hmm. is nothing but what are the components we are going to control in a vehicle? Those components we are connecting by means of a some networking system or cables. That is nothing but a control area network. See here, we are using the abbreviation ECU, nothing but a electronic control unit. Suppose if you want to control any component means, that component we can control by means of electronic circuit only. Unless until if you don't have an electronic circuit, we, we are not going to control the, the component. Let me take example as a motor. Suppose if you use the motor in electrical vehicles, hybrid electrical vehicles, how we are going to control that one? by means of a power tonic circuit. That is nothing but a power tonic circuit. So, in this manner, 
if we want to control anything means that control will be occurs only by means of electronic circuit suppose if you want to control the ic engine the fuel injection that if you want to control means that we are going to control by means of a electronic control unit this is the transmission system along with a electronic control unit ess nothing but a energy storage system nothing but generally we are using the battery that ecu this is one more electric the same energy electric motor generator the braking system all those thing component we are we are controlled by means of a con electronic control unit only all these things we are connecting by means of a can nothing but a, that is one type of communication cable can is nothing but a control area network next in the same manner this is one control area network this is the another control area network here we have written the class a can nothing but a, the speed of this can will be very low the speed of class b is can is the moderate the class c can is nothing but a, the speed of this networking is very high if you observe all these components all are related to the vehicle motor and the dynamics this is window door driver seat front light driver seat again rear light alarm all these things we are connecting by means of a class a can so in this case even though it will take some little bit more time to operate all these cans are connected by means of a gateway this total thing is nothing but a control area network this is another way of representation of control area network for hybrid vehicle see here hybrid ecu electronics control unit it has a four inputs one is throttle brakes control unit vehicle status or dynamic streaming command commands and ac settings it is it is taking a, some information from the different ports so based upon that information it is going to give the command to the sub system such as engine torque clutch ecu transmission system battery motor generator power tronic circuit and ac unit in a vehicle so based upon these inputs this control circuit is activating the particular sub system so that the actual work will be done in a vehicle depending upon the driver command this is the communication and supporting system see here we have taken the hybrid electric vehicle these are the wheels this is the differential this is the transmission system this is clutch this is ic engine parallelly we are connected with the battery also here this is battery this is power tronic circuit from the power tronic circuit that is given to the motor generator this two are connected in parallel for this engine it requires a fuel pump the same manner gas tank so here single arrow is nothing but a in which direction the data will be transferred so whenever we both sides arrow means the communication will be done in both sides suppose here if you take that there is communication will be done from the motor to the power tronic circuit as well as power tronic circuit to the motor but here power tronic circuit to the battery as well as battery to the power tronic circuit here air condition again from the air condition to the battery as well as battery to the air condition because the air condition is highly run by the battery so whenever we are on in the ac in a car it requires some sort of power supply how we are getting the power supply means from the battery only next here hybrid ecu the input for the hybrid ecu is brakes as well as acceleration two only uh, not only the two more than the two inputs are given to the hybrid ecu this is all these hybrid ecu and the remaining ecus are connected by means of a can suppose if you are applying the acceleration means motor as well as ic engine is giving the acceleration power to the vehicle so that the vehicle will be running in that manner different components will be operating in a vehicle thank you very much for watching this video